Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. We've got online answering your questions. Got a question here from Ryan using the hashtag AskAGG. Will, uh, will rangefinders ever have a place on tour? This is a common question actually, and it's an interesting one. It's one that I find amateurs seem to think much more about than the actual people who play on tour. And there's a few situations where this is the case as well. Slow play being another one, which is always an interesting one where amateurs are always like, oh, take so long where pros they moan a bit when it gets slow but they're just happy to be out there doing a great job um look if you gave pros range finders they would still use that book the book is showing them how far the pin is on it's showing them where the tier in the green is where the drop-offs are so how far up the green the drop off to the left is how far up the tier is how long the tier is so how wide the tier is um, they're gonna use those books because they want precise information just buzzing like we do in our vlogs just buzzing a flag and you'll see it on a number of occasions in our vlogs is not the answer for precision golf like they're playing it's better for speed for us guys and it's kind of good enough for most of the people's qualities of strike but if you're trying to hit the ball as close as these players are also what people just fail to understand when we go and play some of these courses i think it's really interesting so if i take something like Trump International, Trump Turnberry, two courses I've played recently in film, but you might have seen some of the videos. Those courses are not like ordinary courses. They are brutally tough in areas, certainly from the tees we often play. And people see us playing on those courses and relate that standard of play to then how we play on a more kind of club venue where it measures, opposed to 7,000 yards, it's measuring barely 6,000. They just see that as us playing golf. They don't see or really work out how very different it is. So not just on physical yardage, a course like Trump Turnberry with some purpose-built new greens have precise, big, punishing drop-offs where often your normal club courses tend to have kind of just green areas with some bunkers placed around it through time. They don't have these kind of punishing areas. So even if they did use rangefinders, they would still stand there looking at the books forever. And I actually think lots of them wouldn't use rangefinders because they're gonna rely on that book. They wanna know if they wanna keep the ball below the hole, get it above it, do they wanna miss to the left, do they wanna miss to the right. They're looking at it in a different level of detail than what we think they do. Hope that helps, great question. Post comments down below. Hopefully this has uh, made sense. Mm -hmm.